The faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday. I blew my nose and my ears plugged up, so I don't know really how I sound, but we're gonna do this anyway. We just keep moving forward, moving forward in 2023. That's what we're doing. Yep, that's it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, as you've been following, I am 40 years born again. And now I've, I've looked at some numbers of my life and what they meant over the years, but I really haven't really gotten into it. So I really thought, you know, this is the time of preparation. It was the time, I like that painting. I don't know if you can see that or not. No, you cannot. Anyway, it came up on my screen on my computer. So, I'm coming out of this time of probation, and I'm getting some some uh, spiritual attacks, which of course, you know, you fight your way into the promised land. So I'm fighting my way through into the promised land. God is good. We have grace, and that's what we're gonna talk about this week, is the grace of God. My natural birthday is 5 1662. So we're, this week we're going to spend some time on the number five. Now this is good for me, but it's also good for you because God's number in Scripture is very significant when we start looking at, this isn't numerology, this is looking at the patterns God has said, set in the Scripture. Remember, God is the creator of math, so God knows numbers. So let's look at what numbers mean and see if they touch your life and, and I'm going to see how the numbers apply to my life. Amen? So I'm, I'm, I'm working out of E.W. Bullinger's God's Number in Scripture and the last uh, quote we're going to use on Friday comes out of Troy Brewer's Numbers That Preach. And so I want to give, uh, I want to make sure I'm not doing any copyright strikes or anything like that. You know, um, the next couple of days I'll be reading right out. You, you can tell I love numbers. Um, you can tell by the condition uh, of the book. Um, but we'll be reading out of uh, E.W. Bollinger's book and we'll be learning about the number five, which is the number of grace. Amen. Amen. Let's look at, I'm going to take a look at the, the background. I like the background. Do you like the background? I like my hat. Do you like my hat? Does anybody remember that? Decaf coffee just doesn't taste the same, does it? Huh. So let's hear what the number five has to say. Five is a perfect number, and it is the number of grace. My favorite definition of grace is God's ability added to my life to do those things in my life that I cannot do without Him. That has been a foundation for me for years. What's cool about God is things like, is things like this. For the past year, think about this, for the, for the past year, and this is what's cool about, I used to, there was a time period I, I I went through that, like every day I had, do you know what's cool about God? And I'd always have a saying, what's cool about God? You know, that's a great memory and probably something I need to start doing again is, you know what's cool about God? And then just say what God's doing in your life. That's what's cool about God. So this is what's cool about God. In the last year and a half, I've been, uh, uh, you know, I've been on righteousness and I'm not going to get off righteousness. I'm going back to, I've got 450 something quotes about righteousness and we're in 230 something something so I've got like 300 more quotes than what we've already gone over but we're learning about the righteousness lifestyle and the righteous man it's righteousness and unrighteousness that's what there is righteousness and unrighteousness so God's so cool that the first thing that I see as I open up E.W. Bollinger's book to see what he's saying about scripture as I read is is this now this is a quote from E.W. Bollinger's uh, uh, Numbers in Scripture, so I don't want to get copyright. I want to make sure that, that, that I don't do any copyright thingy things and uh, uh, that I give credit where credit is due. 
you know, I'm not plagiarizing, I'm just bringing information. The fifth psalm of the fifth book has also special reference to God's favor or grace with which he encompasses his people. Psalm 5, verse 12, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, grace, will you compass him, or in Hebrew, crown him as a shield. Now I want you to think about Ephesians 6 when you take on the shield of faith. Now we get an idea, and this came to me, and I this shot to me. This is going to be a this is going to be number four thirty seven uh, quote when we get to this quote. But it, I'm going to give it to you now. This is straight off the presses. God's so good. He knows where my heart is. My heart is pressing towards being the man of righteousness and and living righteousness. Because if you're living righteousness, you're living the King and His kingdom. That's what it's about. So. The shield of faith, this is going to be my quote 437, the shield of faith is grace in righteousness. Grace is how you quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Grace reigns through righteousness. Seek first, faith first, because faith is the action, that's seeking, that's what you want to seek. Seek, that's why Jesus said, you, I need your faith to be grabbing on to my righteousness. Right? So seek first righteousness. Righteousness is the faith, grace, love connection. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.